Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dominic, and for you guys today, I'm bringing you Bay Clan Attacks of the Week, episode number two here. And apologies for not uploading this video on the Sunday. I kind of lost my voice. It was too much of a struggle to talk or to commentate over this video yesterday, as I've got quite a bad throat infection here. But anyways, I'm doing the video today. Still can't. I'm not going to ignore this series. It's quite long episodes, not quite long videos, but I enjoy doing them. So anyway. Going back to it, coming in at number three, we have John here, coming in with the Go Wee Wee with 10 extra hogs, and he starts off his raid, placing down those golems, spread out well along the east side of a base here, and places his wizards down well, saving seven as you can see, which is quite good because he's going to put some a few more down so they go towards the center of the base then he places his heroes down then his two witches making sure that they go to the center of the base and he did that really well by clearing the surrounding structures so he can filter them through and there you go he's placing down those wizards more and more so that they so that they're guaranteed to go center so anyway at the top you have one column at the top that one is distracting distracting the enemy queen here but there's no one yet to destroy that queen while the golem's distracting it all right now you get one wizard onto the court okay she's turned her attention towards those wizards but anyways now you have the queen and a few more wizards taking the town hall and then you will have the hog riders coming in soon i think eight hog riders here and i don't think i can see any more golems so the throw didn't look that great from the start, but here you go, here come the hog riders. There were only eight there for those defenses up the top. But as you can see, I don't think there were many spring traps here. So the hogs still stayed alive. Quite a few dodged that try mom there from here. Then now it looks like a three star raid. So I'm just gonna see it. Yep, it was a great attack. He triggers another giant mum, so now the queen and the witches won't be affected by it. And now it's just the troops cleaning up the rest of the base here. And puts down that final wizard just to help with the cleanup. And yep, that was a great raid by John. Very well done for coming in at number three. And coming in at number two, we have... Sends here coming in with the Go Hog attack strategy. This attack was done towards the end of a very tight war here against that War's Corrupt, and there was quite a lot of pressure doing these attacks. This was a two star offer, so offered two more stars. It was previously one star, but anyway, as you can see, he's carrying only two heal spells for those hogs, and he doesn't waste no time placing them down. As he already knows, the Queen and the Clan Castle troops are already distracted. The one giant bomb got one giant bomb got triggered straight away. But he was quick to put that heal down so that any splash damage structure was not going to affect them. And then he already places his second heal down. So there's quite a lot of defenses left over. But then, as you can see in the middle of the base, how many wizards there are there? Plenty. There's still a goal. Golemite I think left over or Golem. Yeah, the Golemites are still left over there on the clan castle. But as you can see, okay, the hogs are starting to die off there from one giant bomb and a few spring traps. But there's the Golemite still there. Gets in front of the wizards, the Golemite. And the wizards will just take out those remaining defenses and he will have a minute. Or the replay ends in a minute and a half. But I think he had plenty of time left over to finish off the rest of the base. And this was a great attack by Sens, because under all the pressure at the moment, because it was such a tight finish to the war, he makes this raid look so easy as if there was no pressure onto him. But there was, and as you can see how many troops are left over, it's great. Taking out that last gold storage, and well done Sens on this, Sens on this attack. And coming in at number one, we have our new recruit Lewis here. And well, after watching this raid, I knew it had to be featured in it. So it's against the same clan, War is Corrupt. And as you can see, he starts off here placing balloons towards the side of the base to take out those defenses there. Takes out the cannon and not the Tesla yet, but he took out 
all the defenders on the top right there, most of them on the top left. Then he puts down two giants to lure out the clan castle, places down his two witches and queen and two golems and from here you can guarantee that the troops are going to go towards the centre with the jump spell placed there. Brilliant place jump spell. Yeah definitely they're able to jump into all the layers of the walls, jump into the core of the base. And you can see here, I don't know if this was meant or not but this one Pekka goes around the outside which was very well done here. I don't know if this was his idea for the Pekka to go around that edge, the side of a base but whether it was or not it works out really well and from the centre you can see the golem's gone into the centre, his king went into the centre, his queen is cleaning up those buildings and then he places down the remaining balloons here to clean off the rest of this base, the defences here and you can see yep, destroys almost every single defence, yeah, every single defence at the bottom has gone the defense, the sides are getting destroyed already and gosh I think almost every single troop is left over except the wizards, All, I think almost, oh it's just a brilliant attack here, very well planned, very well executed, this was not, he did not re-attack it so he was the first attacker on this base so he dealt with this base really well and well done Lewis for coming at number one. And for a fail attack today, we have our co-leader here, Ken, attacking number 5 here with the Go Wee Wee attack strategy with 9 balloons. And he just plays this one balloon at the top just to take out that mortar which was unprotected quite. Then he places down the witches and didn't put down the golems straight away but because he knew they wouldn't be damaged. And then the golems come down, the wizards go down heroes go down as well and he's attacking a base with very weak heroes and it's one of the highest town hall nines with very weak heroes but anyway the jump spell goes down and all looks great from the start all looks great this raid all the troops have gone to the center the clan castle i think is getting dealt with quite well puts down another heal spell there has golemite down at the bottom with a few wizards behind to take to destroy those structures he has saved 8 balloons and 2 wizards and 3 archers for clean up here. Destroys that cannon, I think, and those wizards will die from that archer tower. And then he puts down another wizard to help with the clean up. And as you can see, it's going really well. This is a very spread out base, so the troops can walk around quite freely here without struggling that much. And then goes down the balloons at the... At, yeah, on the archer tower and wizard tower there, and and the one cannon there, and yeah, this attack looks great at the moment. One one minute thirty seconds left over. This is how much real time is left in the real thing, as he used up all three minutes. And you can see seventy two percent with one minute and eighteen seventy five percent with one minute and eighteen seconds left. And yeah, this definitely looks like a free star, doesn't it? One minute ten seconds left only need 16 more percent and from the top here you can see these troops there's a golem on that distracting that one archer tower turns into golemites and pay attention to those air, those skeleton balloons at the top there they're gonna play a big part in this raid and there you go coming at the bottom quite a few wizards and the skeletons get spring trapped off that's gonna slow the pace down this raid and 40 seconds left and it's only needed 6% here so it should be good and it should do good but here's the trouble those troops didn't go around they wanted to go through the walls and those skeletons they're, they're hit bashing different walls the wizards and witches are taking out another wall and here is the trouble as you can see the archer isn't shooting at the archer tower it's shooting at the balloons because that's going to even make even more trouble in this attack here then the archer gets eliminated skeletons go towards the archer tower three seconds left will it be a three star no 99% that's a really harsh rate because all went wrong for him right at the end there so anyway you guys thanks for watching like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video peace